Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Victor and I'm very excited to be here this morning. It's a pleasure to welcome us all to the maiden edition of Science Victors. Science Victors is a platform where we help science students around the world, but especially science students in Nigeria, solve their everyday challenges when it comes to the understanding of chemistry, physics, biology, as well as mathematics. Be it in the theory aspect, in the practical aspect, Science Victors will be there to help you through them all. And when it comes to the writing of internal and external examinations, Science Victors will also be there to help you conquer them all. So I can assure you that you've actually come to the right place because we're going to make this a worthwhile journey. So whether you are in SS1, or you're in SS2, or you're about writing your HEC examinations, or whether you're preparing for your jump examinations, this is certainly the right place simply because I went breaking down science topics, chemistry, biology, physics, and mathematics. Well, not just me, you are going to also find uh, some team, you know, part of my team, also coming in here. A very, very competent physicists, mathematicians, who also be coming on this platform to help you guys through uh, your challenges. And I promise you that as you continue to follow up on every edition, of science victors and as you continue to put your mind into the learning of some of the topics that can prove difficult you're not going to regret it so welcome again to science victors oh. i am going to start like this i'm going to begin with chemistry and um, i i don't start with chemistry simply because it's my field um, i actually studied biochemistry so I have a kind of fondness for chemistry. I'm going to be basically introducing chemistry to each and every one of us, especially those uh, that are just beginning chemistry, SS1 students precisely. For those of you in SS2 and SS3, I'm quite sure you are familiar. And even if you still have problems understanding what chemistry is all about or why we should even study chemistry, you have definitely come to the right place because as you follow along, you're definitely going to get a full understanding of why you are studying chemistry right now and why you should actually study it, why it is very important for the future. So let us begin with a basic introduction of chemistry. And I'm going to be very brief about this. I'll be very brief about this because uh, all you just need to know is what chemistry is and why it affects us all, and what it actually does. Okay, so let's begin by saying that first I am going to introduce the concept of matter. Very, very key if you want to understand chemistry. Okay, so we're talking about matter and then we're also talking about a keyword known as atoms. So these are the two basic things that are going to help us to understand what chemistry is all about. Okay, so let's begin our discussion of chemistry starting with matter. When we are in primary school and even at to the point of junior secondary school, we usually hear of the word matter as anything that has weight or has mass and occupies space. Matter is anything that has mass occupies space. Now, what does this actually entail? It's as good as it gets. Think of everything you can see around you right now. Everything you can touch, everything you can see right now. Those things that are basically around you constitute what is called matter. Why? Because it has mass, meaning it carries weight and it can occupy space. So, the white ball you're seeing right now in front of you is matter. The chair you're sitting on is matter. I am matter. You are matter. Everything around you that you can see and touch, what can we say? Every tangible thing is matter. All right. So chemistry comes into play in this situation. Chemistry is a branch of science that seeks to study matter. So key point here is this, key point, all right? Chemistry is a branch of science 
okay, that studies matter. So if you're familiar with matter, like we said, it is anything that has matter on the space. So everything around you is what the chemist seeks to study. But technically speaking, what aspects of matter is the chemist studying? Well, the chemist study the properties of matter. Okay, so we are looking at the properties of matter, the composition of matter. Perhaps I should have started first by saying the composition of matter. That is what matter is made up of. Okay. So, as well as the changes of matter. Three things here that chemists seek to study about matter. What matter is made up of. In big man's terms, from the user word, composition. Okay. And then the properties of matter, meaning the behavior of matter. And the changes that matter on the road. That is basically what chemists seek to understand. So everything around you has uh, a composition. Okay, it is made up of something, substance, and then the properties. Everything around you has a behavior, and everything around you is subject to change. So changes, composition, properties, or you can put it in the right order: composition, properties changes is what chemistry seeks to study that is it and so haven't noticed this or haven't known this right now it takes us to the other part of what we are considering today although we're not going to consider this in full but i want to relate it to the understanding of chemistry it is said if you're talking about matter and its composition it has been known that all matter is made up of tiny particles known as atoms. Some people call it elements. So all matter is made up of tiny particles known as elements or atoms. So that is the relationship between chemistry, matter, and atoms. Simply put, chemistry is a branch of science that studies matter in relation to its composition, that is its makeup, its behavior, properties, and the changes the matter undergoes and furthermore all matter is made up of tiny particles tiny particles that is so tiny that we can't see without naked eyes and those tiny particles are known as atoms so that would be a basic introduction of chemistry in our next edition we are going to see why it is important to study chemistry and subsequently we are going to go straight into the study of the atom, as you get to see. So whatever problems there is, you have come to the right place, like I said. Please keep following up as we move ahead. Thank you for listening.